you might heard about Q1 general, Q2 categories, Q3, Q4 categories. So this video is very, very important. This Q1 general, Q2 and Q3, Q4 general means, and basically, let me show you from this diagram. Uh, this Q1 basically means quartile. Quartile means the fourth, the fourth part, basically. The fourth part of something, right? Uh, so you can see if this is 100, so Q, Q, Q1 is basically uh, the top 25% journals, right? Simply means that if there are 100 journals in any field, if you consider medicine or something, so uh, all these 100 journals are not same journal. There are there are uh, differences, mean uh, uh, one journal may be good quality, another. So the first 25% journals, the top first 25% journal, basically that, that, that we call Q1. The second, uh, from 25 to 50, that, that, that quarter, that quartile basically, from 25 to 50, they, that 25% that basically called uh, uh, Q2 journals. Similarly, from 50 to 75, that 25% quartile is basically called Q3 here. You see here? And similarly goes to uh, Q4. From 75 to 100, 100 this means that 25% basically called Q4, right? This means that if I show you here, uh, this means that uh, this uh, Q1 is basically uh, uh, the best in term of quality. I have mentioned uh, Q2 is followed, and similarly Q3 and Q4 is the lowest uh, from all, right? Now the question is basically uh, every supervisor and uh, mentor basically wish to have a Q1 or Q2 journal uh, to publish the work. You see here, this is this is why. Uh, they demand because the university basically demands, the institution basically demands and they put some guideline that uh, we will give you financial support once you have a general in a Q1 category. And I, I have seen many places that when you are applying, uh, keep this thing in mind, when you are applying, so they clearly mention that uh, if you have published Q1 category journals, right? This is very, very important, right? So because uh, the, the, you, the, it will also improve the university ranking. But for example, if many authors publish Q1 category journals, so the university ranking will go up. Now, how the journal are basically ranked? Uh, it ranks basically on the basis of impact factor. There are many other parameters, but this is the best uh, way to uh, uh, rank different journals, right? So I hope it's very clear. Uh, let me further emphasize that in terms of quality, Q1 category journals are the best, followed by Q2, then Q3, and finally Q4. This means Q4 and Q3 are from the bottom side, and Q1 could be And let further, Q1 is basically the shorthand for the first quarter. You see, first, that first 25%, the first 25% from that uh, bread, like this is the bread here. So this is basically the first quartile here. 25%. The second quartile is basically here, third four here. If it is in every, every field, so if you, if you take medicine field, so there are also this whole bread. So it divide into four sections. This term of quality, right? This is how we do.